Welcome back everyone, this is Annie, and today I'm going over a haul that I received from Southbound. I ordered this January 7th of 2022. She shipped it out on January 9th, and I received it on the 13th, so I start to finish, it was under a week. Um, she usually has really good turnarounds, and I have fallen in love with her wax. She's become one of my favorite vendors. If you've not tried Southbound, I highly recommend giving them a shot at some point. Um, they recently, well, back at the beginning of the year, they did a little rebranding, and I just love how beautiful the site is. It's a lot easier to find the product, and um, they have always done a great job making the packages when you receive them just look phenomenal packaging things with care um this is a order that was back from january like i said and i'm recording this several months later because i have just gotten so behind on unpacking things um so i wanted to go ahead and share it anyways that way I can get it unpacked into my storage and really start getting to melt things. So if you'll notice the beautiful new branding that she has. Um, I just love the kind of neutral colors that she's gone with. And I did already unstick this and remove all of the packing peanuts. I believe she uses the biodegradable ones and um, they're just such a mess. I wanted to go ahead and get those out of the way before starting the video. So in every order she'll include, and I accidentally bent this, that was not on her. This package is happy to see you too and it has all of her information, website, Facebook, email, um, Oh, I didn't even know they had an Etsy shop. I'll have to look at that. But I love the direction she's going with the colors and just keeping everything consistent on the website and the packaging. She always includes an invoice and the invoice. I'm gonna cover up my information. It will list what you did order and then how many, but it doesn't list the price. All right, let's dive in. I believe, yeah, this was not a pre-order. She does pre-orders, and then after her pre-orders, she sells the extras and some others that she didn't maybe pour for that specific pre-order in the RTS, and she usually has RTS items available on her site at all times. Let's go over the sample. This is Gingerbread Man Latte. Gingerbread Cream Swirled Latte. Now she has a lot of really popular coffee blends and I haven't got to try all of them but I have been trying to pick them up as I go and let them cure because I love a coffee blend in the morning especially on the weekend. This is such a cute gingerbread shape and you can see the layers. Yeah this is nice and strong because it's definitely cured. I have, I think it's gingerbread cookie jar from her, and she has a really good gingerbread. If you like gingerbread scents, but you've struggled finding one that is not overly spicy or has that bitter note that some gingerbread oils have, I would recommend trying her gingerbread because it's a really good one. It's definitely got the spices that you get in a rich, decadent gingerbread, but it's not bitter, not overdone on the clove. Um, and you definitely get that little bit of molassesy, sweetie, sweet cakiness. Um, there's just a hint, tiny hint of coffee in here. I mainly am getting gingerbread on cold. Look forward to melting that. And keep in mind, these are just first impressions of how things smell, how the packaging is, um, how the order process went. 
I will do warm reviews later in a melting basket if you're curious and you can always message me um, if you would like to know how something specifically performed if I've gotten a chance to melt it yet I'll let you know all right let's start with the clams this is pink bedtime blend it's pink sugar mandarin lavender chamomile neroli and lily of the valley she always does such a beautiful job on her clams just real thought going into the colors design some are more simplistic like this with just a sprinkle of purple glitter across the pink layer and the purple on the bottom others will have little shapes embedded but her clam shells are always so beautiful okay right off the top I get her lavender and pink sugar um, it's a little bit more of an herbal leaning lavender And sometimes her clamshells will have a bit of that plastic smell, which this one does. But that plastic smell does not stay once you warm it, so don't let that alarm you. This one smells really nice. All I'm getting is the pink sugar and the lavender. I'm not really getting the floral notes. But I am curious to see if those come out once they're warmed. Next is Snow Candy, and this is Juicy Bubblegum, Cotton Candy, Apples, Pears, Sugared Candy, Lemon Drops, and Madagascar Vanilla. And this is one that has a little embed in it. See that beautiful um, shimmer brushed across the blue snowflake, tiny little glitter, glitter flecks across the pink. Now this one's a solid pink. Okay, um, this is basically Snow Fairy to me, which is a Lush dupe. You definitely get that cotton candy with a little bit of the pear. I'm also getting a cherry note in here, which I always get a cherry note from Snow Fairy, at least to my nose. Um, it's not a favorite from past vendors that I have melted, um, so I might not wind up actually melting this one. I didn't realize it was a dupe for Snow Fairy, but I know a lot of people really love that. And this does smell good, it just has that cherry note in it that I'm not a fan of. <clears throat> Next up, this is Lavender Orange Soda. And this is lavender, vanilla, and sugary, sweet, fizzy orange soda. And it's this pretty dusty purple on top with a little bit of orange glitter just sprinkled across like fizzy bubbles drifting across. Then orange on the bottom. Um... I'm not really getting a lot of the lavender. I do get that orange note, but it's really subdued. I don't know why this one smells soapy to me. I'm sure that's not what it will smell like once it's melted, but it smells a little bit like ivory soap with just a hint of orange to it. It's weird. Um, I know that that's not what this scent is supposed to smell like, so. Yeah, we'll see. This is just what my nose is getting right now. All right, and the last clamshell is Bohemian Rose, and this is sandalwood rose petals with notes of greenery and soft musk. And it's a hot pink, a little bit of glitter, and some tan on the bottom. And she usually is very sparing with the glitter. If you do not like glitter, um, it can e easily be brushed off. And she also makes items that don't have glitter on it. So it's a good vendor to order from if you do not like heavy glitter. Okay. I get a really soft, slightly powdery rose note. 
and I think that powderiness is maybe the musk kind of blended with the rose but the musk is soft it's not overwhelming and just a hint of sandalwood I don't really get the notes of greenery right now on cold but this is nice it is not too in your face with the rose it's not sickly sweet it's borderline almost like a soft laundry really pretty honestly on cold I look forward to melting that all right she also does bakery bags of shapes and I love getting her bakery bags because she has just so many different shapes she does such a great job with details in the shapes colors making them appropriate maybe to the center season that they're in and they're just so much fun I got four bakery bags this first one up is coffee house eggnog and this is fresh roasted coffee butter coconut flakes vanilla bean maple syrup roasted nuts and spiked eggnog can already see through the window just such a cute little coffee cup shape I believe these are eight ounces for eleven dollars oh this is nice first off you get that egg note with the nutmeg and the kind of creamy custardy sweetness but right behind it is the coffee and it kind of just tones down the eggnog i know eggnog can be you know love it or hate it for a lot of people and it can be hard to find a good eggnog scent but this smells like a true eggnog to me and i'm enjoying the way this smells on cold i know it's not quite in season because we are fast approaching summer already and eggnog is probably not a summertime melt but I might still go ahead and enjoy this sometime on the weekend soon and not wait till fall look at this so cute shapes I just love that that's such attention to detail and this bag This one is full of a bunch of squares. Some are layered, some are solid color, some have the shape on top. Yum. Next up is caramelized praline cookie dough. And this is warm vanilla corn, warm vanilla caramel, dark brown sugar, butter drenched pecans oh my gosh that sounds amazing and sweet sugar cookie dough i'm gonna try my best not to eat this one it just sounds delicious Whew. right up the top the butter note is smacking me in the face with smelling this let's pull out some of these shapes Some bread shapes, an ice cream scoop. This looks like, I'm not quite sure, some a brownie. Um, maybe a macaron. A little cinnamon roll. Smelling it more, I do get some of that brown sugary caramel note and cookie dough, but the butter is definitely heavy in this. I'm not picking up on the pecan note, which is a little disappointing because I love the smell of pecans, but I'm sure that will come out on a warm, um, I have melted some things with pecans in them from her in the past and absolutely love her pecan oil. I don't know that this is the same pecan oil, but I'm hoping so. 
very yummy smelling. And then I got two of these because it just sounded good. Candy cane cupcakes. So let's see. Oh, I'll read the set notes. The candy cane cupcakes. This is buttercream frosted cupcakes and sugared vanilla beans topped with pieces of crushed candy canes. And I believe this was also, well, a lot of these were from her early December pre-order, I believe. So extras. Okay, that's interesting. Not quite what, what I was expecting. It's like a hot pink, like a little flower, a heart. Snowflake design. Different snowflake design. I didn't even notice this at first, but look at the label. The candy cane part of the word is striped like candy canes. She put so much thought into the presentation, whether it's the shapes, the packaging, the way everything is wrapped to send to you. And then I love the way her wax performs. And the owner's name is Rachel, by the way. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. I believe it's Rachel Wales, and she's based out of Alabama. Um, first thing I get is kind of a butter mint, mint to this. And then a little bit of buttercream kind of in the background. I don't really get a cakey note, but it's kind of a minty buttercream. Like a butter mint butter buttercream is what I'm getting on cold. But I figured I would like this one because she does amazing with bakery blends and I just love a mint bakery. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I am going to try to be a little more consistent with posting on my channel and try to get caught up some, on some hauls. Please comment down below if you want me to just focus on current stuff and not worry about hauls that you'll haven't seen like this one um, because I don't want to go through videoing um, ones that I haven't gotten around to from two or three months ago if y'all really just want to see things that are current releases. So please just let me know down below if you have an opinion one way or another on that. And again, thank you for watching. You'll have a great rest of your day.